Hi. Um, today I wanted to discuss me time, downtime, chill time, <laughs> soulful time. And basically, it's so important for us to do this for ourselves, to make that time for ourselves to basically to retreat and basically connect our souls. Now, we all have often heard of, before I go into the actual me time, we've all often heard of, you know, um, the energy and that you keep and birds of a feather flock together, watch the company that you keep. Um, the company that you keep will reflect who you are and who you want to be. So it's so important. So when you spend time with people basically that are doing the wrong thing or say for example stealing, then you might not steal but eventually you're gonna have to cover for one of them, one of the lies or something that they themselves might say or do. And that's company that we keep outside of ourselves. And we all are so wary of that, that we don't want to mix with the wrong group, or we try our best as spiritual workers, light workers, and imps not to be in that kind of energy and put ourselves in a different kind of energy full of like positiveness, love, light, encouragement, upliftment, where we can be open and share ourselves. But here's something. When we spend time alone, time with ourselves, yeah, we often tend to basically put ourselves down and say negative things about ourselves or we start worrying, will I make it for that deadline? How am I doing as a mom? How am I doing as, um, and I say that because I have a son, but how am I doing as a mom? How am I doing as, as a human being, <laughs> you know, um, at work? How am I going to do this and do that? And then we start feeling not good enough. And we actually start using our me time instead of reflecting upon you know ourselves and taking care of ourselves we actually start putting ourselves down so me time is actual time or how can i put it uh yeah me time soul time whatever time you want to call it but it's the time that you spend alone is the time basically that you actually spend really taking good care of yourself meaning look at stuff that make you laugh you know uh, gosh i'm the kind of person that uh, spends quite a lot of alone time and in that time I think of things say things that actually make me laugh yeah I laugh with myself <laughs> often and I enjoy my own company I enjoy the conversations that are in my head I feel you know um we all have those days where we do think negative things don't get me wrong I go there too but I try to always uplift myself have positive conversations within my own mind about myself and kind of make myself feel good. Watch something that makes me laugh. Watch something that makes me cry. Um, watch something that touches me. Um, do something. Paint my hair. Uh, paint my hair. <laughs> Brush my hair. Paint my nails. Have fun. I have fun on my own. And I feel a lot of people, you know, we always talk about this me time and soul time or time to self. But the time that we spend with ourselves isn't quality time. It isn't enriching and uplifting and connecting us to our soul where we feel, oh, that was so good. <laughs> you know, Whew, I had such a good time alone. I mean, I see people, I'm like, yay, so good to see you because that was so good for me. And that's what we should encourage and also encourage the conversations that we have with ourselves, not put ourselves down body wise, image wise, in any possible way because afterwards we that me time is actually becoming kind of destructive and instead of connecting to our soul because the soul is there that makes you feel good it's your highest vibration it's gonna uplift you it's gonna make you feel oh, yeah that touched me you know that me time really touched me and when you're spending me time that isn't good for you 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 will connect more to your ego and that's where you actually kind of oh gosh i have so much to worry about um i'm worrying about my partner i'm worried about tomorrow i'm worried about every single thing and not looking at what's right you know so it's important when we spend this me time we make sure it's quality time and quality soulful time reconnecting to our soul feeling that energy around us and really spoiling and being self-indulgent and doing things that make us happy at that time you know because later on when we interact with people we feel like, oh, okay, I can do this. You know, I'm feeling in a good place and so forth. And it's lovely to see you again. Um, I had such a, you know, I feel good. I've been in a good space. That's what you want to say. That's what you want to encourage. And it's important for us to do that. And when we treat ourselves well, other people watch that, how we treat ourselves and what we do for ourselves. And they'll be like, oh, okay, you know, this is something I should do for myself as well. 
you know, I should take care of me. They look at us, oh yeah, you're doing great. I want to add that also to my life. So um, it's important to create that soulful me time, that time where you feel so good afterwards, having that time to self, not where you're wishing for someone else or something to be there to make you happy. It's about you making yourself happy and really feeling that within yourself.